Hi everyone. So I have another little kit here that I made. Um, you all don't know this, but this will be the second time I did this video. I tried doing it the first time with the shortcuts that I wanted to show, but I just kept messing it up. So boom, it was history. So this project is a, is a mini book. I have these out here because they're cute. That's really what I wanted to call it was a Spongebob book, but I'm not going to call it. We're just using those pieces. So this is what's in the kit. You have an envelope that holds it all in with a ponytail holder, hair tie, whatever you want to call them, keeping it in place. I have decided, and I know exactly where they're at, so it won't be a hard thing. I'm going to go get a little bulb pin to put on each one of these so that you can put a charm on your book if you want to. So, in your kit, you will have, I'm going to put this all to the side because I want to put this kit back together as is, you will have three pieces of white mixed media paper or off-white. Um, this has all been pre-cut, ready to make pages. You have the covers for your book. However you want to do that, collage and whatever. And you will have a few pieces of cardstock in varying sizes. So that is what's in the kit along with the, the, the hair tie, which is really part of the kit. The envelope is just a container. So I'm going to put this up so that we know it's fully intact and I can put it in the pile on the other side of me. Now we're just going to dump out my supplies that I grabbed to do this. Okay, so yeah, it looks like a mess here. Yes, big mess. These are my covers, and I just used painty papers and collaged on them. I'm not including papers for the covers. You can use your scrapbook paper, whatever you want. It's your choice. And these are what I have already got for my pages. But I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do pages. Okay, so wish me luck. This is where I messed up before. So when you set and fold an accordion, so many times it gets cattywampus. And I'm not sure if you can see that real well or not, but it's not straight. And there you go, kind of, you see the slant. I have had nothing but bad luck with that. This one here, you can see how unstraight it is. And I already glued it to a piece of paper. So one thing you can do is you can take a piece of cardstock that you have. Make sure it is, this one is right exactly the same size of your book cover. So we want to cut that down just a little bit. And I'm just going to cut it down just a hair, which our book cover height wise is two inches. And the other way is It's just under two inches, and one is just over two, and one's just under two. But I'm, I'm intending it to be, you know, a little longer on the up and down. So that's where I need to think about this. I need this to be that. And my paper's not cut real straight, so um, I'm going to cut this to just to two and a quarter, or to one and three quarters. Cut it to just, just under two. This will be my side. So you can do this a couple of ways. You can take your pages, this pieces of paper here, and cut them in to pieces. You want to cut them or score them at one and three quarters. Okay? They should already be the right height for your book. So if you do that and you have individual pages, then um, I just folded mine because I was in a hurry. So I have some individual pages. These are out of a folder, file folder, leftovers. So you could take the strip that we trimmed and you can get your scoreboard. Or if you don't have a scoreboard, you can use your paper cutter and you want to score 
at about a half an inch. You just can do this and get your stylus, a uh, dead ballpoint pen, whatever, and give yourself a half an inch. And then you can go another half an inch. I like to fold it because then I feel like I'm getting a more accurate measurement. I don't know that it matters. Accordions can be a real pain in the bottom. So you can do this and hope that your accordion comes out straight. But if it doesn't come out straight, what you can do is you can cut yourself. Okay, squeeze this in under here. Cut yourself one inch strips. Like so. And then, um, yeah, I guess I still need to score them, don't I? So we're going to score down the middle. So we know that we cut one half or one inch, so we'll score it a half. We'll score this one at a half. So you have two pieces. Well, you want to make more than two pieces for you, but you need, we have two pieces to start with. Let's put it that way. So I have my little papers and, and however you want, you know, pick the side you like, dig out a solid, use this in your book, whatever. And these are, these little black ones right here are also the same. So I'm going to go ahead and use them because I have plenty. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a spine but not with that glue stick. Okay. I don't know about anybody else, but I seem to have like six glue sticks open all the time. So I am going to put some glue on this. Of course you can't see it because I'm working on black. And I'm going to um, glue two together. And Burnish, burnish, burnish. Okay, so these are a little bit shorter. So we're, we're, you've seen how to cut them through that. We're just going to use the black. So now you know how to cut them. And we're going to use these black ones. And I'm going to glue this one to this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to continue to glue them together until you have one more. So we have basically this will get glued to the cover and this will get glued to the cover. So I have enough for two pages. So you want, but I used three strips. So you use one strip more than how many pages you want. So I have one done here. And you could take this and you can um, glue these to your covers. Um, I would probably decorate my covers first just because it's always easier to work that way. So I'd glue, I'll just do that. I'll glue this little piece here and I'm going to glue it down on my cover so that it's right on the edge. I'm going to pinch it down so it adheres. And you can use a different glue. I have other glue sitting here on the table with me. I just like my glue sticks and I usually don't have any problem with them. So, um, but the biggest thing is be generous, 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 generous. And now I'm going to put the other um, cover on it and hold that down for a while. So now I have a cover with an accordion spine. Can you see that? I'll show you. I have enough to do one, two, three, four pages. Okay. So these are my pages, and they measure at right at two inches tall and one and three quarters wide. 
Now mine are folded. They don't have to be. You can cut the individual pages. What I would do now, and you can decorate these out flat, so you don't have to mess with um, doing something later, is I glue this one. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to glue this one into this side of the, the hinge. Now, again, here's another choice. I will glue this down, and that will be encased that little flap right inside the page, and I'll have this side and this side to work on. Or you could trim this down a little bit, since it's folded, and have a longer piece that's a flip out. I'm going to go ahead and, and glue this down. Also, if you're going to glue this down, if you wanted to, just run a little bit of glue here. Glue this down, and yes, yes I did, I made this into a little pocket. So you could turn these into little pockets. That's just one way, okay? So you would do this for every page, and then you would have your book, and you could do whatever you wanted on the pages, decorate it how you want. Um, I like the black, because then I feel like the spine is done. So, that's one way, which actually stretched out to a couple of different ways. And um, this is pretty much what I've decided I want to do with this one, though. Okay, I decorated my covers, which um, just the front would have been good. I didn't necessarily need to do the back because when I glue the pages in, it's going to be um, a little um, bit covered up a little bit. So, let me move the cutter. And this time I'm going to score on the scoreboard. Um, I know not everyone's got a scoreboard, and that's okay. There's so many ways you can do it with a ruler and a pair of scissors or whatever. So you're going to take your paper, and I already know that one and three quarters is where it needs to be scored. So I'm going to score that at one and three quarters. One and a half, one and three quarters. This is pretty heavy paper. Again, I like to um, fold it. In fact, I usually do it this way. And I, I seem to be, I use the ledge here and here a lot, and I seem to get a better score. Maybe it's my imagination, but hey, whatever works. If I can just realize what's an inch and a quarter. I'll be all right. And you do have to manangle this a little bit just to make sure you're doing, you know, what you need to do. But um, I do like to do that. Okay, so I have a little bit left over. I know that's longer. I'm going to go ahead and score this at, at one and a quarter. And with this little bit, I end up with something like this that has a little bit, and this one has a little bit. So I will take this bigger little bit, I'm done with the scoreboard, so let's get you out of the way, and I'm going to take the glue, and I'm going to put some glue on this. And I'm going to glue this to my cover. So because I've done both sides, I need to find out which little section I dislike the most or don't like the most, however you want to put that, and I'm going to glue that down. So this is my book. This is the front, and these pages go like this. So this little bitty lip here, I can do a couple of different things. I could... Just glue these two together like that, and then it would extend on, and you and you you have three sheets to do however you want. Or I could stop here and glue this onto another cover like this. But I'm probably going to do this, so let's just let's just do it and get her done. I'm going to put some glue on that, and then I'm going to put some glue on the inside of this one.
And did I do them wrong? Yep, probably. Yep. I did. <laughs> okay. So I added I had it laying right first. So this one's gonna go oh, this is just how it's gonna go. So we'll see how well it sets up. And yes, I'm getting glue all over and and then making it dirty, but I'm gonna collage or draw or doodle or something fun on it, so I'm not gonna worry about how dirty I'm making the page. That's why I did it wrong, because it was supposed to, yeah. This is how it was supposed to go. I knew it was right, I just had the page wrong. And that happens. And that's why, you know, we have a fun glue that we can just re reposition. And I probably should have put a little more glue on there, um, being as I took it apart. Man, I've got so much glue and my thingy's dirty. I'm just making a mess here. So we may have to use a different glue on this one. But the page is glued together, and then it comes around like this. So then you could, I have a whole page here, so I could either glue that on there, the whole thing, cut it off. Um, if I had one more page on this, it would make the, no, if I take this one and cut this down just a little bit and put glue, now there is another sheet I could have added onto this, but I'm stopping here because we don't, we don't need to go all the way through that. Because it, it is, sometimes it's a process because it's like, well, it went that way, but now it's not going that way. So then you choose which side you like. And I like, it's funny because I like both sides of the same thing. So we're going to do this one and line it up. And of course, you know, it's not going to be a perfect accordion, but you can fix that. You can paint that edge. You can... Um, gold paint would be really cool. You could use a paint marker. Um, you could put a little, um, I like this. So I'm going to cut this. Yep, not measuring. But I am going to cut it on the paper cutter because I can't cut straight if I tried. I'm going to take the paper cutter and I mark that little spot. And now I could take this and I could put this on here. And you could fold it so it's, you know, score it and fold it so it's really centered. Or you could let it just be kind of loose and rounded so that it's got room to give a little bit. And you can put your spine on there. Um, this is way wider than I want, so I'm going to again get out the cutting board and I'm going to trim this down a little bit. So I have this, and let's just glue it on. And I think this glue stick has hit rock bottom. It sure has. So open another one. Does anybody else have glue sticks like six or seven open and just always grab whatever's closer? I pretty much work that way in everything I do. Most of my projects are made with whatever's close at hand. And I'm just going to put this on here and visually, because I don't want to get the scoreboard out again, just visually make it fit. Give it its little creases now. And there we go. We have a little book. Now, I didn't get, um, these are stuck together because I glued the pages together. I did not glue all these together. If you wanted to glue them all together, you could. If you did not want to put a spine on them, you didn't have to. If you didn't, you would have been able to open it up long as an accordion. I want it to be like this. So what I will do is when this is good and dry, I will probably take some liquid glue 
and my little bottle is pretty empty so we're just going to grab this one shake 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 so we're going to shake this down come on slow poke this is my fabric tack any wet glue will work Gonna run a bead there and a bead there. Go ahead and do the other side. And I'm gonna go up the center on the inside. And this I should have done before, but it's totally on how you want to do it. So now these two pages are kind of glued together. Once they're dry, you will see that I have a pocket in here and a pocket in here. And I can do the same thing with this. Or I can leave them. It's, it's totally up to you on what you choose to do, how you want to do it. Um, I will probably just glue them together. I won't make them pockets because that's just kind of what I'm thinking it needs to be. So I'm just going to put some glue in here and kind of get it where I want it on both pieces. As you can tell, I tend to, I have an idea, and I, and it usually is a pretty good idea, it can usually work, but I never know what it's going to be because I just do it, and then how it turns out is how it ends up. Now, this one, um, this kit in itself, has had all the components put together, but I've never made one until today. So we're all new at this one. And I'm just putting some more glue in there so it'll be nice and, and glued down all the way. So we're just going to pinch it for a little bit, and, and we know the glue needs a little time to set. And now we're going to hunt for that little ponytail holder, and I'm going to wrap it around. And if you've got the little bullpen, you can hang a little bitty charm. You might want to move it up a little bit. You can decorate the pages however you want with whatever items you want. If you find it's easier to um, use these for inside and something else for your spines and stuff, it's good. There's lots of extra stuff in there, so you'll find something to do with it. And I hope you enjoyed this kit. I had a really good time when these came in a donation. I knew exactly right then when I opened them up what they were going to be. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I love baby books. Have a great day. Bye-bye.